So you don't want to make Instagram reels all on your phone and keep up with Gen Z and dance like there's no tomorrow. But you understand the utility of short form content. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you create Instagram reels all within Adobe Premiere because you want to work smarter, not harder. What up guys, my name is Peter from A Broke Visionary Collective where I help you become a better content creator. And if you have been living under a rock, what you need to understand is that short form content is here to stay. One, it is the best way right now across all social media platforms of how you get that organic, that free reach, even if you are complete nobody. And number two, understanding how simple it is and understanding that let's say creating and getting going viral on YouTube is much lower on that priority where if you can actually go viral if you're a nobody. And like myself, I practice what I preach. I have made Instagram Reels and TikToks and those two have gone semi-viral. We're talking about a couple thousand views here, even 500,000 views for this TikTok that I made, but in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is that you need to do to create your first Instagram reel. So if you wanna do the slow and methodically long staking way is yes, right? Open up your phone, go up into, you know, the Instagram reels, create a reel, and then you wanna select your photos or videos or even create one from scratch in the camera app and upload that into the reels and then pick your trending sound and having to move and do all the switching and the swatching. But if you wanna do this a little bit more effectively, what you wanna do is grab any camera that you're using right now, right? And you just wanna rotate that. So now I am recording essentially a vertical video. So now what I can do is I can record any video, anything that I want specifically natively for Instagram Reels as well as TikTok. So now what I'm gonna do is, you know, if you wanna do a dance, do a dance, point to stuff, look at this, look at that, do a dance, go left, go right. And then once you recorded that, making sure that you can line, line them up, right? So you can have like a 30 minute, an hour worth of content nonstop right now, right here. And then what you need to do is the simple part, right? Is you upload that all within Adobe Premiere. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how you edit them. All right? Work smarter, guys, smarter. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna do something really meta. So I'm gonna take that footage that I just recorded right here. Let's see here, do, do, scrub this right when I turned it sideways. I'm gonna have this in points and out points. So in order to create a Instagram reel sequence, what you need to do is you click this here, sequence, and it's already under digital SLR 1080p, depending on what frame rate that you recorded in. I recorded in 30 frames per second. So I'm gonna do name this my IG Reels sequence. Everything else should be as is. You go into settings and then you wanna just flip this around, right? 1080 by 1920. And the most important part is you see that it is nine by 16, not 16 by nine. So you're looking at nine by 16. Think 16 longer, so it is bigger. Click okay, everything else progressive, square pixels. And now, as you can see right here, is your handy dandy little IG reel sequence. All you need to do now is find that video clip, drag that into here, and you want to keep existing settings. This is what I usually do. And all you need to do now, go into effects, rotation, and you wanna go hit negative 90, depending on how you filmed it. And look, exactly that is your Instagram Reels sequence and how exactly it looks. So what you wanna do now is you can also adjust the frame, right? You can go zoom in a bit, you can get a little closer. And because you filmed it on your DSLR or mirrorless camera, the quality is gonna be much more better than your phone, unless you have a really expensive phone, but still. Next is you wanna download your trending audio. So whatever video clip that you have found, I mean, your audio clip on YouTube, your Spotify, whatever, download that clip and you can edit that clip as is into Adobe Premiere. Whether you want a match cut, whether you want to like have some cool sequence, you can do that all within Premiere. 
And instead of like fiddling through your phone and trying to get that sequence and your phone might crash, you can do this all within Premiere. So let's say you drag that, you make that clip, blah, blah, blah. There is your little Instagram real edit. And then you can also create text on this. So what you can do is go into your essential graphics panel graphics and uh i'm just gonna do is click t subscribe if you haven't yet right if this video has helped you or is helping you you have a background to this all right subscribe and if you want corners to be rounded there's this metering right here that you can control right here corner radius drag that out you can make this bigger as well and this has that sort of that TikTok feel but you can also have those that exact same feel on Instagram Reels. You can change your text here. You can go with them. Um, and there's your text. And you can just layer them as is. Let's move this around. Chop this up, right? Let's say you want to move this up a bit. And there is your little Instagram Reel that you just made. Super simple. All within Adobe Premiere. Now, of course, I would have spent much more time and make it look a lot more crispier and you know with epic footage but this is for youtube so what i'm gonna do now is you want to click your in and out points right depending on where you made your video and then you want to go into export i'm using the newest version of premiere by the way so all you need to do now is click export and another thing that i forgot to mention is as you're editing you also want to make sure that nothing is in this bottom third right here because all the text, your username, your trending sound, all that stuff, location, be on the bottom. So making sure that any text is gonna be above this little subscribe right here. And if it's a TikTok, same thing applies to the bottom and top as well. So you don't really need to do much to it. Your format is H.264. If you wanna have like a smaller file, you can do HVEC or H.265. I usually leave everything as is. You click match source, everything matches. You click more, you can render at higher quality if you want, right? For maximum render, click that. But for the most part, with the newer Adobe Premiere export settings, you don't really need to do much to it. You can export within Premiere Pro or you can send it to Media Encoder. Here is your Instagram reel that you just made. And all you need to do now is you just simply upload that as a reel, click that as your media file, and Instagram will automatically detect the trending sound that you can use to it because of its, of its own algorithm and robots. And you just made your very first Instagram reel on Adobe Premiere Pro, like a pro that you very are. And that guys is how you create a super easy Instagram reels all within Premiere. And you don't have to go the hustle and fussle of doing everything on your phone because that will take forever. So if this video has helped you, make sure you grab all my resources in the description below. If you want to learn how to have the best camera settings, check out that guide that I have. And if you want to get serious about content creation and becoming a freelance content creator, link in the description below. Check that out. Help me help you. My name is Peter. I help you create something out of nothing. And you're watching Broke Virginia Collective. I'll see y'all in the next one.